Hey guys, uh, this is Amit. Uh, I am bringing this tutorial uh, for you guys. Um, you know, talk about the uh, basic password authentication for Apache. Um, usually, you know, um, you might wanna um, sometimes protect a directory, um, you know, inside your document root, um, such as uh, you know, um, any um, directories that are used for administration purpose. Or, uh, you know, uh, for any other purpose that you want the restricted access um, based on the uh, some kind of username and password. All right, so um, so let's see. Um, let's look at the configuration file here. Um, Httpd.conf. All right, so um, ah, let me um, let me take this. Uh, test.com example okay uh, let's take this www.test.com example all right so the IP address for this uh, machine is 140 and then let me check if the directory exists okay all right so I've already created a video on the basic Apache tutorial so if you wanted to um, you know learn that first you can just go ahead and check out my videos um, so for the um, so today we are going to uh, you know uh, look at the basic authentication for a directory um, okay uh, let me go to that directory cdtaste.com so let's say there is a mkdir um, let's say a protected a directory or you know admin or whatever and then um, let's say there are a couple files in here um, let's say echo um, test protected uh, file and then let's say it's index.html and the main.html you know whatever test.html all right, so uh, what we want to do is what we are trying to accomplish is we are trying to protect uh, this directory uh, protected, but we still want people to have un unrestricted access to this index.html file or any other folders, or any other directories, let's say, you know, mkdir test. So I'm going to just create a test slash index.html. This is not protected. Right, so let me see what the index.html. Okay, this is test.com. Right, so um, let me just do some quick check. All right, so um, let's see if the service is started. Service HTTPD status. All right, it's stopped. So let me check the syntax. All right, that's fine. Service HTTPD is start. All right. Okay, so the web server is started. So what we're going to do is we're going to say test.com. Okay, so this is test.com, right? So I want to access the um, slash admin. Okay, let me see. Okay, I did not create an admin folder. All right, so uh, let's say um, uh, inside the test.com, I want to access the test directory. There is the index.html file. This is not protected, right? All right, let's open the protected directory. Uh, this is the test of the protected file, and then let me see what other files we have in here. It's the main.html. You could just ask for that file, main.html, uh, you know, and then the test.html. So we see that anyone can access this file as, the, as long as the, you know, they have internet access, and then you know, I mean, access to the uh, the web server is running, it's serving the file. It does not ask for authentication or anything whatsoever. So now what we are going to do is we're going to protect the uh, protected directory so only the users that have the username and the password can access that directory. All right. So um, the first thing um, you want to do is uh, we want to like create a password file. All right. So um, the best, um, I mean, you know, you should always put the password uh, file outside the um, HTML directory, I mean the public HTML, the document root of your website. So um, the, uh, the, the way you uh, create the password file is you have to have the um, package uh, installed, the HT tools package, I think. Uh, let me see, rep minus I, HTT. 
All right, so uh, this is the package, the HTTPD tools. It has the um, htpasswd command, which we uh, the htpasswd command, which we use to create the um, um, user password file, and then you know creating the users, adding the users, and so forth. All right, so let me uh, htpasswd minus c. So we don't have the file yet. So we are trying to create the file while we create the user, right? So um, I'm going to give the minus C option. And then uh, let's put, keep this in a secure place, stpasswd uh, slash, um, you know, etc slash stpasswd. And then you can name anything, you know, test.com.users or, you know, usually the... Um, the way uh, I'm in the convention is like most of the people just do the HT pass WD. It's up to you, right? So let's say um, user uh, test uh, user. All right. So, oops, uh, sorry, I had a typo in there. So HT pass WD cannot create file. Okay, most likely because there is no directory. MKDIR at C HT pass WD. All right. Okay, so now it asks for the password, right? Okay, I'm gonna say T E S T one two three test two one two three. All right, so oh, we added the password for user test user, right? So now the next time you want to create another user, uh, you don't need to pass the uh, let's say example user. If you pass the C option, it's gonna create a new file, right? So we don't want that. We're just trying to add the user. Okay, so we're gonna say test one two three test one two three. All right, so now let's take a look at the file, stpasswd.stpasswd. So you see it here, uh, the example user and the encrypted uh, password for that user probably uses like the crypt function to encrypt the password. Okay, and uh, this is the encrypted password for the test user and separated by colon um, and then the example user and that user's password. So if you wanted to remove a user, you just, you know, delete the entry from here. No big deal. All right. So uh, that's that. If you wanted to change password, you just run this command. And then, you know, without the C option, just htpasswd path to the, uh, path to the uh, password file and then the username. So if the user already exists, then it will change the password. If the user does not exist, it creates that user. But when the, the file does not exist, the first time you are creating a user, you need to pass the minus C option. Okay. All right. So now uh, we created the uh, we created the um, user file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to etsy httpd conf httpd.conf. All right. So we're going to go to this directory here and then we need to like tell the Apache to protect that, right? So what we're going to say is directory uh, is the directive. So we're going to say var www.html test.com and then we want to protect the protected uh, directory, all right? It closed the document directory and I just like to use the tab so the file is more readable, you know, auth type um, and then the basic. Uh, the auth name is like the you know whatever text you want to see in the prompt but then when it asks for the password uh, authorized um, users only um, you know whatever you want to put uh, auth user file is the location of the file where we created the credentials file etsy st pass wd and then i think we created the st pass wd all right, so now we are saying that use the basic authentication type, and then this is the authentication name, whatever you want to see in the prompt. And then we tell that this is the file to look for, right? The authentication user file. And then now what we are have to say, the Apache is require, require a valid user, all right? And then what we are going to say is order, allow, um, allow, Come out deny, meaning, you know, allow anyone that matches the above requirement and then deny everyone else. So, um, you know, order allow from, allow from, allow, uh, excuse me, from all. So what we're saying is allow, um, you know, from everyone, but, you know, just uh, check for the password, right? 
So now let's close the directory, um, save this file, check for syntax errors, and service HTTPD restart. Okay, now let's try to access the same uh, protected folder. And do you see, it asks for the password, and then you see the authorized users only that we set in the auth name. So now uh, I'm gonna say test user, and then test one, two, three, and then now I can access the folder, right? So this is for Apache, the previous versions of Apache. This is uh, the Apache 2.2.15. But starting Apache 2.4, there's been a little bit of difference uh, in the way the authentication works. So um, with respect to the Apache 2.4, what you want to do is, you know, the way it works is you um, allow, um, you know, you protect the whole um, document root, but then you say, okay, give unrestricted access to these folders, All right? So the way it would have been in the, um, in the Apache, um, Apache uh, 2.4 would be, you would just say, you know, I um, mean, you would just say, da, 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 you know, you would just protect the whole thing, right? And then uh, what you would do is, and then you would go in here, and then you would say directory, uh, and then you would say uh, var www.html test.com, uh, right? And then you would say require all granted. And then you would just close the directory. So, um, you know, you can, you can just... Um, you can just do this. So uh, for the Apache 2.4, you know, the authorization mechanism has been uh, revamped a little bit. So, and so it, you, you know, you, you create the, um, you create the configuration that uses the basic authentication for the entire uh, document root. And then, but, you know, you allow the public and unrestricted access for a specific directory. This is how you would do an ST Apache 2.2. So I'm not saving this for now because you know we're we are on the Apache 2.2. So this uh, works for us at this time. So you know this is how you protect a directory. There are a lot of other options. Uh, you could even use the .st access method to protect that directory. Um, so I'll talk about that in another video uh, sometimes next week, hopefully. So uh, that's it for now. Um, you know, subscribe to my channel and then um, you know shoot me an email if you have any questions. Uh, as always, this is just an educational video. You know, use your own risk. I'm not liable for anything whatsoever. At, uh, you know, use of this tutorial. Yeah, and um, keep watching my videos if you like it. You know, like, share, subscribe to my channel, and then you know, share with your friends, uh, maybe. And then, um, you know, I'll, I'll see you in the next video.